All right, so today we are at Brick Street Farms in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida, where we grow leafy greens and microgreens. So for sales, most of our sales are directed at restaurants and distributors, but we also have retail sales through our online website where customers basically place orders and come pick up. We go through about 300 trays of microgreens per week and trying to clean that amount couldn't even really do it in one sitting. It was something that we were doing multiple times throughout the week. Now we're trying to get it to a once a week task that takes maybe an hour and a half or so. And that frees up time that we can work on other projects. And it also helps us maintain the cleanliness of other areas of the farm as well. So washing trays by hand, just with a normal uh, pressure washer here in central Florida, it's really hot. It's rainy a lot of the time. so. Having a task that we would have to do for several hours, several times a week, it's just physically demanding and it's just difficult labor-wise to, to get that done, where now with the tray washer, having a once a week, hour and a half or so task, it's pretty easy to work around weather conditions. Nobody's out in the sun getting burnt up or anything like that. So it's, aside from the labor savings, it definitely is, um, just good for the morale, I would say, even of the team. We had considered the idea of a tray washer for quite a while, and we looked at some other ideas as far as like DIYing and things like that. Um, but with all the other projects we have going on, I think purchasing was the obvious decision. And the price up front did seem like a big purchase, but it was pretty easy to do the math on the amount of time that we were hand washing trays and realize that it would pay for itself pretty quickly. So the pressure washer that we have um, is probably not the most powerful on the market. I would say it gets the trays as clean as we need them to be like 95% of the time. Some other crops that have stickier seeds, maybe like arugula or more roots like uh, pea tendrils and things like that. Those can be a little trickier to wash, so you might want a more powerful pressure washer for those, but I would say overall, it's definitely adequate for what we need. Yeah, so as far as the drain water, I would say we're using less water than we would cleaning them by hand, just based on the speed that we can actually get them all clean versus having to uh, you know, run a hand pressure washer for hours on end, multiple times a week. The drain water right now, we're just draining the waste. We haven't really had any issues with clogs. We were trying to drain through a hose at first and that would clog up a little bit, but um, I think with a wider hose, that would be doable if you needed to drain off somewhere specific. My last thought is definitely that it was worth it for us based on the amount of time we're saving and really as the microgreens manager, the amount of time that I now have to do other things is really kind of the most valuable part of it. Uh, there, you know, the price again up front is seems like a large purchase, but when you think of the amount of time and money you're wasting by spending tons of time cleaning trays by hand, it's it did feel like a no-brainer once we broke it down. As far as using the Bootstrap Farmer trays with the tray washer, we have used other trays in the past, and at this point, pretty much everybody who works here hates having to use any other trays, and the fact that they run through the tray washer so smoothly really makes it to where if you're using other trays with the tray washer or just using other products in general, I think you're gonna be spending a lot more time and labor just working around the lower quality.